Hello, everyone. I know it's been a while. I miss you too, okay? So, we have some new specimens in. I said that I started, to, I have multiple specimens. But I wanted this to be originated around slings, and we follow these slings. So, I, I have too many spiders, I know. Bogits, you must get down. Everyone sees you. He's a little spider bandit. He doesn't buy some, but he will show me that they're there if they were to get out. So, starting with the old Philippines, my good friend John Hall from the Alabama Tarantula Group. He is also a part of Spinder. A few other things. Uh, there's no telling what he has, but he is pretty cool guy. Okay, uh, no problems here. But we have an old Philippines. Okay. What you need to know about this species, obviously we're not going to see it very often because it is a fossorial species. Not only is O. philippinus fossorial, but it also likes its humidity. So as you can see here, I have made this out of a baseball display case. And it has, in the two days it's been in here, it has done a, a, a decent size expansive hole all the way to the bottom. And he has built his burrow over in here somewhere. So, what I would like to say, what a lot of people don't understand, is with fossorial species, uh, they're going to spend most of their time under the substrate. Uh, they're going to spend less time above ground. Usually you'll come back and they will have their uh, water dishes uh, full of dirt when you come back because they are digging tunnels and one thing that I've noticed and I don't I've noticed not people have said this but if you notice you have fossorial species and there's a water bowl around in the enclosure they will fill that uh, bowl up a lot of times with substrate but what you don't know is they will come back and they will drink the water that is in that bowl out of that substrate so that means you might need to put you a little bit more water down on the side. One of the things I like to do is take a stick like this right here. And just to show you, I know where he is inside of here. This is the best thing to do. A lot of people like to talk about this. But you don't want any sticky stickies because we might have a dead spidey spidey. So we are going to take this, as you can see, and just kind of get yourself a little hole all the way to the bottom. And then you can use a pipette or a... Uh, Hold on, let me find it. Or something like this. This was never used. One of my children need medicine. He is very good. He takes it out of the cup. Ripped this out of the bag and I have kept it for a few years for feeding spiders and it is perfect. You can take this and just squirt water right down the side. So, I hope everyone understands that a lot of these species are... Uh, don't require as much attention as you think. One of the beginner problems that I've found is that people buy their tarantulas and they do not leave them alone. Uh, they do this with a lot of animals, especially reptiles. Spiders are not on the same intelligence level, but uh, we don't really know that either. But what I have seen is if you put them in something when you get them, leave them there for a few days, uh, don't mess with them. And if you are putting them in something, make sure that you have done your research and make sure it is set up before you put it in there. Because if you don't, you may be set up for disaster. And remember, friends, in your groups, be kind and courteous because this is a hobby, not a job.